with a focus on job creation finance minister nirmala sitharaman announced a slew of measures to push infrastructure spending promote manufacturing through the pli scheme and allocated a larger kitty for public expenditure if the stock market is a barometer for popular perception then budget 2022 meets or exceeds expectations here are the budget numbers at a glance total capex has been increased by 35.4% and has been pegged at rupees 7.5 lakh crore the fiscal deficit for fi23 has been pegged at 6.4% of the gdp allocation for nhai has been doubled to rupees 1.34 lakh crore in fi23 Manrega allocation has been reduced from 98000 crore rupees in FY22 that's a revised estimate to rupees 73000 crore for FY23 government has pegged the total market borrowing for FY23 at over rupees 11.58 lakh crore gross tax collection estimate for FY23 has been put at 27.58 lakh crore corporate tax collection estimate for FY23 has been pegged at 7.2 lakh crore rupees and finally income tax collection estimate for the next financial year has been pegged at rupees 7 lakh crore though the markets gave a thumbs up to the budget it was really disappointing for the common man because there were no changes in the taxation regime neither were the tax slabs reduced or any incentives introduced in, in the face of covid pain that people have been facing for the last two years mostly people were expecting incentives uh, to ease the covid pain uh, in terms of cash flows and investments and they were expecting an expansion in the atc investment limit which hasn't been revised for many many years while the middle class was left disappointed cryptocurrencies by the way made a debut in budget 2022 though there were no changes in the taxation regime this time in the union budget there was a crypto taxation that came into being which was announced by the finance minister and the rate being as steep as 30% investors in cryptos are surely going to take a hit on their returns this also makes cryptos non competitive with other investment options like equities uh, and debt investments but of course cryptos come with much higher risk and volatility so all in all get ready to face more risks which are already there as well as to pay a tax cost clearly nirmala sitharaman did not play to the gallery with tax dolls but will the 35.4% jump in capital expenditure be enough to spur consumption the challenge and the accusation against finance ministers forever has been the inability to create jobs or spur growth through budgets that they present now with crucial state election staring the government in the face nirmala sitharaman had her job cut out most economists believe that she should have given out tax sops to put more money in the hands of uh, the common man daring spurring consumption but she chose a different path she decided to expand the kitty of public expenditure into the economy at a time when private investment is yet to kick in is that a valid decision the jury is still out